Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. This is Frankie, and this is your Tarot Read-In. I'm going to take a look at the current energy right now, moving into the next seven days. I do your weeklies every seven days or so, so it's whenever you get this. I'm going to take a look at, see where you're standing, what's manifesting for you in love, and I look at each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces, and see what to expect, especially if you're manifesting an SP, um, any kind of movement, or what's going on, or who might be coming towards you. So let's take a look here. We are in some of the best times right now, whether it feels like it or not, Leo. We really are. We were at the new moon Taurus where we were manifest and setting our intentions. And now we're at a really good time right now where things are starting to roll and we got to keep rolling with it. And from now to like the 25th of May, is supposed to be a very lucky period. Uh, and just remember everything that you are setting your intentions on over the past uh, month or so is going to uh, play out over the next six months, all right? So let's see where you're at with this energy and see what's manifesting. What does Leo need to hear? What's with the current energy right now for Leos and what's coming in for them? All right, you have taken Spire to action. All right, speak your world into being. So for those of you that are new in my channel, I really do talk a lot about manifesting at first uh, when it comes to your tarot readings. And then we move on from there. Uh, go for it. You have Gemini and Virgo energy showing up for you. And so this is really in your head, in your mind, really sharp energy. Speak your world into being right now. Clear your mind um, of any kind of uh, negative self-talk or limited belief. You will know when to take the right action over the next few days or so, when it's time to do something that you're called to do, when you're supposed to make that phone call, when, when you should... Um, do something or make something happen or if, if you're not feeling good and doesn't feel right to do something don't go again that's not inspired action you've got to learn to just say you know it doesn't feel right for me right now um if it, I'll, i'm gonna wait this one out uh, maybe not react to a situation that's showing up for you you have strong manifest in energy here when it comes to gemini energy uh this is your words or your wand right now so whatever you're saying whatever you're speaking is manifesting for you so much uh, faster. So paying attention to what you're saying um, in every situation. Clear your mind. Think about exactly what it is that you're calling in and don't pay attention to anything else. Speak exactly to the universe. Command the universe to deliver what it is that you want and you will have what you want. All right. So you have Virgo energy here, which is taken inspired action as well too. Um, so the Virgo energy can also, with all this Mercury energy around you, Mercury right now is really moving forward right now. So you're going to see this momentum happening and, uh, you know, so it might get a little overwhelming and this is where that Virgo energy, sometimes you can overdo or overthink. And that's why I'm getting this energy of, to also clear your mind, your restless mind a little bit and stay focused on what is important. Focus on the details that are important, not the ones that are, are, are trying to get in your way and fog your mind. So let's see what themes are coming up for my Leos. What themes are coming up for you? A lot of Mercury energy. So there's a lot of communication here, a lot of creative ideas, a lot of um, could be overthinking overthinking and just your restless mind and going but this is a good energy for you to communicate with people um you know if you've been wanting to con reconcile talk to somebody or you know, apply for a job things like that getting stuff done and um you have really good energy around communication writing if you want to write journaling all right we have some fear showing up we have transformation and we see an increase Okay, this all makes sense. So let me just give this quick message right here. All right, your world is increasing right now. Um, and so some of you, if you're manifesting and things feel like they're not moving, you feel like things are stuck, this is the message for you. Everything around you is changing. Everything is transforming. Everything is moving. Notice the increases in your life. Notice what you seem to have more of. Are the plants in your house growing quicker? Uh, is the food in your fridge? Does it seem like you have too much overflow with and you're like, you got to clean out your fridge? You know, I always make jokes and say, have you gained a couple pounds over the week? I mean, you're seeing increases. Increase in people talking to you, increase in happiness, increase in noticing things. 
the momentum is picking up around you, but what you want and what you're focused on isn't showing up as increasing because you are seeing what you don't have when you do that. So what is increasing is that you don't have it. You're focusing more. I don't have this person. I don't have this money. I don't have enough. I don't have. That's what you're constantly, even though you're manifesting, I want this, I want this, I want this. You've got to take your focus off the fear, all right, of not having something and let it go. The the card of transformation here is showing that you are trans going through a cycle, all right? There's major transformation here happening, a lot changing for you, and you are about to have a rebirth. So you are completing the cycle and a rebirth is happening and you should start seeing things manifest for you over the next seven days, the movement happening. So pay attention to the increases. Let's see. Leo, show me Leo. What does my Leos need to hear? Show me their energy. Show me what's coming towards them. And then I will look at Aries through Pisces for you. Leo, and we are moving into Gemini season after the fourth season. I'm sure pretty much all of you know that. And you have a lot of Gemini energy here, and that's going to be a great season too for connections, for communications, for manifesting as well. The sun card, Leo, right there for you. All right, the four pentacles. We have the devil card showing up. You focus on material things. All right, you got to let go a little bit with that four of pentacles and the devil card showing up. The sun card to me is showing you that luck is around you. Luck is happening. Focus on the positive. All right, because the four of pentacles can be this greed, this, this, this hoard, this focusing on only material things. And the devil card can say very materialistic. All right, I'm looking at the practical things. I'm focusing on the practical things and not connecting to the spiritual things, not separating myself a little bit. And when we get like that, we start to overly obsess about the material things. And then we don't see the other things blossoming and we can miss the opportunities that the universe is bringing our way. All right, so this is an energy here. You know, the sun card is reminding you that, you know, it could be dim in your light. If you're focused too much on the fear and on the material things, it could be dim in your, your magical light right now. You have the sun card. You have the positivity. You have to, you know, tap into that Leo energy, that manifested energy, that sunshine. Lighten up a little bit and go out and play. The Ten of Wands is showing up, so it's completion of a cycle. The hardest part is over. You may be burnt out. You may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed and stressed out from life in general, and that's why you might not be seeing the major increases that are happening in your life. All right, the hardest part is over. You are collecting your harvest here with the Ten of Wands. You will be collecting your harvest, whatever what that means is, whatever it is you've been working really hard to attain, you will see the reaps the 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 um the fruits of your labor. All right, so you are see I'm seeing here it's not really an energy, a time for you to focus so much on the material things right now. It's more for you to kind of pull away and say that you've done the hard work. Um, you'll be called to take inspired action. Right now, it seems as though clearing your head and doing a reset, mental reset, um, so that you can stay focused on the sun card, focused on the luck that's, that's all around you. We have the four of wands. So we do see uh, some sort of event coming your way, a celebration coming your way. There could be with the sun card and the four of wands. There could be a marriage. Um, there could be a commitment coming your way, a new commitment, buying a new home, um, a child coming home, a child graduating, uh, you know, a child coming to your house, one of your children saying that you're ha they're having a child, anything like that, if that's a possibility for you. But we are seeing some luck, some happiness, some joy and celebration around family, roots, home. Uh, the Four of Wands here is a major milestone in your life. It's something that you've been working so hard to get to. And now you can finally um, celebrate and with tears of joy is what's been coming to me. You know, like finally breather, you know. And so you do have this major milestone card. The Chariot card is reminding you to persevere, knowing that you are going to overcome whatever this feels like to you, this heavy energy. And you, where there's a will, there's 
the way and you're going to get there. All right. Uh, don't be so hard on yourself with the chariot card. Um, you've got to lose. You got to relax, not beat yourself up over the little things that are coming into your life and know that you are there's fast movement here. Your world is moving. And maybe it's overwhelming you. It's moving so fast. Maybe we can look at it that way. But um, you can let go a little bit and trust the process right here because you have the sun card, which is showing a big hell yes, a big sunny day, a big celebration for you coming in. So let's take a look at Aries through Pisces. For those of you manifest and loving, we do have the sun card, which is in your position, which is showing that you're manifesting your focus is romance, is luck. is, And it can be money up here for some of you guys, too, you know, which is that materialistic let go a little bit. But when it comes to love, too, some of you are manifesting in a reunion. Some of you are manifesting in a marriage partner, a commitment when you have the sun card and the ten of wands. And the devil card can say you have to let go a little bit. You may be obsessing too much over it. Um, and it could be weighing on the processes turning out for you. It's happening for you, but your fears could get in the way. Your doubts could get in the way and could create restriction when it's unnecessary. So let's see Aries through Pisces, see how they're showing up through the movement. We have Aries, Knight of Swords, the Death card, and the Ace of Pentacles. So something may have stopped with an Aries. It seemed like it was a lot of communication, a lot of fun, and then all of a sudden it went silent. Well, you got to let go a little bit. Things are, they, it's, not, it's unfinished business. They will be back around. There will be a rebirth. There is a lot of transformation happening with an Aries. You may feel like the door has closed, the opportunity. You missed it, but you have not. There is a fresh start with that Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is about trust in two, all right, and a, turn of, a lucky turn of events with an Aries. Taurus, two of swords, the ten of swords, and the nine of pentacles. Taurus is kind of doubting, a little bit uncertain about some sort of ending or separation with you. Uh, they think you look good, and they're looking at you like you're whatever you're doing, you're looking damn good. And a Taurus is like, I might want to reach out or contact or, or get together with my Leo all right, before this is too late. Gemini, the hanged man, the nine of cups. And the six of cups, Gemini reconsidering here. Gemini thinking, wait a minute, I'm hanging off, I'm hanging on the side here, but I'm falling in love with my Leo, or I'm thinking about um, my perspectives changing on my Leo, and I want to see those happy times again, or I want to turn over a new leaf with a Leo. So you're calling in a reconciliation or coming together with a with a Gemini, and Gemini is strong in your reading. We have Cancer, Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so you've been waiting on a Cancer. It seems as though the wait's over. Page of Pentacles, they're coming in with an apology, possibly. They're, they've dealt with a lot of pain, regret. They feel bad about something from the past. Um, there have been a lot of worry or doubt, and so they're coming in slowly. But uh, whatever it is, whatever this fear is for a Cancer, they are opening up to you. All right, so you may have been waiting, but the wait is over. Leo, Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Fool card. All right, so Leo, you've got another Leo manifesting you in, seeing long-term with you and wanting a fresh start with you. All right, bottom line. Seems as though you both have uh, stability, material life, a long-term goodness, um, and you both want the same thing. All right, so they got you on their mind, and they're thinking about making an offer to you. Virgo, the Hermit card, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Virgo may have closed down their heart. They may have, uh, they're at a distance here. They're withdrawn from you. They may feel like you owe them an apology or you need to speak up or communicate to them. Um, but there is love there with the Page of Cups. So it's opening up our hearts again or whether it could be vice versa. But you are manifesting in messages, communication with a Virgo. Libra, the Ten of Wands, the Star card, and the Five of Swords. Let go of any worry around a Libra. All right, you're worrying about you your energy is focused on the wrong things. You guys both desire each other. It seems like your Libra is the Ten of Wands. They're stressed out, burnt out. You guys take a little bit of space right now, or things that aren't coming together just yet, but they will with that Star card. Scorpio, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Four of Swords, right? So Scorpio coming in with the truth or demanding some sort of truth or justice. Seems like there's trust issues between you and Scorpio, and so there's space. Uh, there's healing here happening here. So I would say keep manifesting here. You'll get some sort of justice when it comes with a Scorpio. Um, we have Sagittarius, Ace of Cups. 
Three of Wands, Emperor card, step up and lead with a Sagittarius. It seems like expansion, growth, movement with a Sagittarius. Expect some sort of loving messages. The Ace of Cups seems like they want a new beginning, a new start with you. Capricorn, the Magician, the Knight of Cups, and the Moon card. So don't let your fears and anxieties get to you when it comes to a Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn. They are into you. The magician card, taking action, taking lead. You're manifesting the man or they're manifesting you. The, uh, the Knight of Cups is showing romance between the two of you, a romantic date coming in between the two of you. The moon card's on your side where it's like you can be a little bit uncertain or feeling worried or release those worries to the universe. All right, you got this with a Capricorn. Aquarius, the Hierophant, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. You, you're calling in an Aquarius. All right, it seems like a deeper level of commitment with an Aquarius. Two of Wands, they're getting out of their comfort zone, wanting to make a choice. They'll come to you, contact you. Uh, so you're calling in communication. Three of Pentacles is shown. This is somebody that you guys work well together. You're on the same page, or you'll work things out. All right. Pisces, the High Priestess, the Devil card, and the Three of Swords, all right? So there's the devil between the two of you. So there's, you know, uh, some deception here, some hurt, some heartache, right? Uh, the Three of Swords, the Devil card can show uh, whether it could be on your side too. Maybe there's some deception on your side, some heartache on your side. Um, the devil is shown getting in between the two of you. So there's some strong drama or attachment or heavy energies um, that needs to be released or healed between the two of you. Your Pisces um, is observing you. Your Pisces does have attraction towards you, but they, they both of you could be deceiving each other um, at this case, right? But it does show that the devil card is showing in the main reading, if you're calling in a Pisces, you've got to let go. You've got to take a look at what that devil energy is and figure it out and release it so that you can call them towards you. All right, we have the sun card here at the bottom of the deck. Now it's twice the sun card. All right, showing a lot of luck, romance, joy, happiness. The sun is a blessing. You have blessings around you and a blessings coming around you, uh, coming towards you. Your life is increasing towards this. So release that devil energy and trust and believe in the sun card uh, and focus on the positive. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.